Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G. The phone that I chose to switch to from my iPhone back in January. So I have been using this ever since, if I remember rightly, the 30th of January and it is really good. Uh, the accessibility on it is really like it's almost as it basically is as good as apple uh, there's a couple of things that could be improved but overall there is hardly any difference between accessibility on this than on iphones now the a52 s 5g has six gigabytes of ram 128 gigabytes of storage the cameras are a, apparently a 64 megapixel wide angle, 12 megapi megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor for those who want to know the camera. But as I am visually impaired, I don't use the camera that much unless I am using Bixby Vision or Envision AI. Um, now, the software is One UI 4.0. An update to 4.1 should be coming soon. It was originally on 3.1, but I updated to One UI 4 as soon as it was available, which was basically the same day. And the text to speech engine by default is Samsung text to speech, which also got an update. Um, and I will show you what Samsung text to speech the the female voice, uh, the British female voice, which I currently have selected. Current location: Hereford. Current temperature: eleven degrees, mostly cloudy. Last updated three twenty p.m. So that's that voice, and there's a there's a menu that lets me change things like text to speech settings and so on. Um, that's this menu when I do a three finger tap. Talk back menu. Read from next item in li So you can do things like read from next item and other stuff. Copy last spoken phrase. Spell last spoken phrase. Spoken language. Screen search. Hide screen. Voice commands. Talk back set. Text to speech settings. So you can get to the talk back settings through this context menu and the text-to-speech settings. Um, I have a few... One UI home. Text-to-speech output. I have a few text-to-speech voices and actual text-to-speech apps that, that, that work with TalkBack. Um, another voice in the British Samsung text-to-speech. Samsung. Not selected. Settings. English. Mail. Mail. That's this one. Samsung TTS settings. Settings. Button 7 of 16 in list. 16 items. This voice is quite funny. It's got an interesting accent. Settings. Button. Settings. Button. <laughs> settings. Button. Settings. Button. Back. Button. Button. Um, so there's that. Um, Samsung TTS English ticked to female that. Samsung T selected not select there is Australian Indian and United States voices the Australian female is both quiet and sometimes when it's reading long bits of text it can sometimes speed up and then start stuttering and acting very strange selected Selected, radio button, English Australia, female, 6 of 16. Double tap to activate. And the, hilar the, and the hilarity of the Australian female voice on Samsung, basically, that's for another video if I decide to, and if anyone wants to hear some funny, stuttering, hilarious text-to-speech shenanigans. Not selected. Right. Settings. Not selected. 
Selected. Settings button. Selected radio button English United States mail. That's the uh, mail US. Set English United ticked female. And the female. Samsung TTS settings. Settings button eight of sixteen in list sixteen items. It is a bit. Mm, that's not one of the best voices. There is actually one called Lisa Female, I think, or Lisa L-E Female. I can't remember what it is. It's something like that. Let's see. English. Cancel. Mail and list. Cancel. Button out. Oh, it's not there. Um, I think, it, I think I have to install that one. But yeah, there is one called Lisa, I think. Um, and that's quite good. But, yeah. Samsung TTS setting. Select settings. Not select. Selected. And then I I have been using one that I downloaded recently called RH Voice. And the actual voice I had selected, I think, was called... Uh, Text. I'll find it. It was something like SLT. Preferred. Pref not, se not, not selected radio button RH Voice. Attention. I... Using RH Voice, preferred engine. No. Alright, settings. Text to speech out. Setting. Like English, United States. Speech rate. Default voice, SLT. SLT. De so there are different voices here as well, but this isn't a text to speech video, this is just a review of the phone. So, I will stick with this voice. Settings, text. Homes. One UI 4 is amazing it's mostly stock android you can change things up a bit and there are bonus features um there is uh bixby and google assistant bixby is available on all sorts of samsung devices including my recently purchased samsung freestyle projector but again that's for another video um but I can ask Bixby to open apps and, um, you know, give me the news of the weather and control devices. And actually control system level uh, parameters of this phone as well. Like, I can ask it to turn on dark mode and stuff. Uh, the... Fingerprint sensor is near the bottom of the screen. Um, it is uh, an, I think it's an optical fingerprint scanner, which means it just takes a 2D image of your fingerprint. Um, and obviously you've got your... App screen, page one of eight. App screen... Uh, so your app draw, page one of all that. There's a search at the top, which opens up Finder. Finder, search edit um, box, back button. And in there you can search for stuff, and there's apps and settings and Keyboard hidden. stuff. Recent. Now let's Finder. Close Home that screen, out. Page one of three. Double tap to activate. Um, you've obviously got your Google Discover feed if you swipe to the right. In my case, swipe right with two fingers. One UI home. And button. But, button. And me being a me being a tech nerd, I have a lot of tech related things coming up in Google Discover. Button. Button successful failures from QU to cast heading. Okay, I will look at that later. Button one. There is an app called Samsung Free. More option. Which I'll quickly show. Google folder. Samsung members. Samsung Free. There it is. Samsung Free. Red Day news out of pager. And this just gives you news and recommended articles. Um, Recommend business 
Check tab for again. Check for Forbes pound me business. Being a, check. Peter Pipe. Me being a tech nerd, I have tech stories in one of the first few tabs. <laughs> business check thirty. Peter Pixel Rico launches the GREX Urban Edition Special Limited Camera Nine. Okay, some sort of limited cameras been launched. Check. Unlabeled button. Nine min. Selected. Now let's just put a like on there. The button's unlabeled. Navig. Update to a fold. So I can have it so that that opens up when I do that swipe right on the screen. Um. And then your settings menu is settings quite short. Um, you've got a few different things in there. Um, you've got advanced features like your link to Windows, call and text. You've got your biometrics, stuff like that. In fact, I'll show the biometrics because you can actually you can actually check assigned fingerprints as well if you've got multiple fingers on there or. If you and you have someone else that you trust uh, to do something on your phone, um, you can add their fingerprint. Home theme, lock, biometric. Biometrics. Biometrics and face recognition. Fingerprints one. Fingerprints. Confirm pin. Pin edit box. Confirm out pin. List. Keyboard displayed. Talk back off. I'll just turn top back off here. Okay, I can actually see the where the boxes are. The keypad. Uh, oops. Talk back on. Talk back on. LR index. Add fingerprint to of LR index one of. Check added fingerprint. Check added fin fingerprints. So, um, add finger L R L R index L, L capital A. So L R index, that's me, and my right index finger. Check added fingerprint. So if I click check added fingerprints, scan a fingerprint to see if it was added and what name is assigned to it. Move your finger down and to the left. Yeah, shut up, talk back. But now there is a little fingerprint icon near the bottom of the screen and I can just tap, well, I can place my finger there. LR index, scan a fingerprint up. to, LR index, scan a fingerprint to see if it was added and what name is assigned to it. Scan a fingerprint to see, done, button, fingerprints, navigate up, button. So you can do that. That was actually a useful demonstration of the fingerprint. Um. Nav Said one UI home weather. Overall, it's a really good phone. At the time, it was about four hundred and nine pounds in Argos. Um, I think it might have gone down in price recently. I'm not sure. I mean, on Amazon, it was like three hundred and seventy nine. I think. But overall, it's a really good package, and you get more. I'd say it's. I'd say it's more value for money than the iPhone SE. 2020 edition was and the recently announced iPhone SE 2022 let's just say I would not recommend that to anyone unless they just want an iPhone for the sake of just having an iPhone and not really using it a lot like not really going on different apps so many just your calls and your iMessage and FaceTime and emails, that's it. Um Facebook Jack. Okay, my friend has posted something. I'll look at that later. So yeah, it's a really good phone and I I might do some other videos on this phone such as funny text-to-speech and some other bits but that's the review 
thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Put your thoughts in the comments. Tell me what you think. You know, I'd, lo I'd love to hear. Um, and I'll see you in another video. Samsung capture stop button.